Firing dice Thursdays, true combo Thursdays, also counts for SoCal Smash League. So of course, it's uh, kind of the premier event on Thursday, the premier of the 818, honestly. Uh, it's honestly the hardest tournament to ever win. My personal favorite tournament, my home tournament. But let's go out into it. Speaking of tournaments, we are in tournament. Yeah, <laughs> let's go I mean, out to this double It match. looks like Miley Star is not actually playing Villager, actually just playing Altena, which is surprising. I mean, he was a diehard Villager main in that floor. So, to see him switch is uh, interesting. Everybody, uh, makes a, everybody makes a change in the next game. Sometimes the character you love in the last game doesn't feel quite the same, you know? Yeah. But in doubles, of course, doubles, the meta does change. Sometimes going double villager may not be the best because you want to have probably the one not. character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not. <laughs> you want to have the one character that does have a little bit that makes up for the other character's weaknesses, too. Yeah. And uh, you, know, you see the circuit tag on the Phoenix. I think he is changing his tag to the circuit, but the Phoenix is not changing. I'm not totally sure. Okay. I'll ask him. I do know some of the Sonic mains changed their name. I know uh, Rochi Wolf changed his name from Rochi Wolf to Nitro, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to Phoenix after this. We'll see how it goes. But let's see how they're doing so far. Phoenix not going to make character change. He's still rocking the Sonic. Hero with the Wolf. I mean, this is such an explosive set of characters, right? Yeah. And Miro recognizing that, you know, he wasn't going to get the timing on the down throw up smash if he sat there and waited because Ant was going to interrupt him. He managed to actually get a kill on Ant. If I'm mistaken, Ant was also PR right in your region, correct? Right? Yeah, so Ant was actually number one in Santa Barbara for a really long time. Uh, and then uh, was number like two and three in the Southern Coast, and then eventually fell to about eight or something at the end of Smash 4. Uh, but he is very good. I mean, especially since he's been playing in SoCal for the past. Uh, and Ant definitely yeah, for, was a great partner, too. My, not my least Iris, he's been capitalizing that up right, too. Yeah. Especially having him off up in the air. We got even stock count, relatively even percents as well. But okay, it looks it, like Phoenix trying to work out on something here, but... Even though the, the yellow team has kind of been evening this up, it still looks like a blue team favorite game right now. And I'm not sure yeah. why. I think it's just the stage control situation. You know, Villager is so hard to get back to the stage with. so close. Exactly. It takes so long to reclaim stage every time. And the way Villager still plays very similar to Smash 4, so he still has a lot of those Smash 4 shortcomings that he had, unfortunately. Right. Oh, oh. I, like, I like the roll read, but uh, it's still a hair too late. And the hair off, too. So, in fact, if he didn't sleep, but I actually roll behind Ant. Okay, Nero gonna set up as possible. Edge guard here against Ant. I like the fact that he probably went for the other smash. I don't know what he might be looking for, but he might have been looking for the jump get up also. Yeah, and you know, he, he went for the, the forward tilt, and Ant just kind of like fell out of it just because the last hit didn't come out. Mm -hmm. Not Miley Cyrus getting that little, uh, that little interrupt with the side beat. That's how you know he's not the original, not Miley Cyrus has to use the underscore too. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta use the underscore, it's not actually. So is okay. it not, not Miley Cyrus? Possibly. Oh, 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 oh. Because well, he he, if he's not the original, not Miley Cyrus, then. I, I mean, this game looking like he's trying to make himself Miley Cyrus here, because they're pretty even stock, and I like the fact that Mero has the high percent here, but he's still trying to take it against his Palutena. Yeah. And I feel like they might want to make a switch between which player fights who, because I feel like Palutena's doing Tremendous work against this wolf here. I don't want to see Phoenix fight Palutena instead. I also want to see Phoenix not just uh, land right in front of Ant as he's charging the wall. That yeah. Was Last second though. Oh, oh, that explosive flame able to take it against Nero. That move is so good. Phoenix gonna be stuck by himself here. Yeah, Phoenix, nice. Phoenix Goes into spin dash to home attack. Phoenix has got a, a mountain to climb on this. I mean, they're both at relatively high percents, but when you're in a two v one, you know, as Sonic, you're maneuverable, but at the same time, how do you get in on someone? when there's always like, another character to cover them, you know? Yeah. And Phoenix also being PR'd in his own region, San Diego. Oh! oh and unfortunately, gonna get hit by that bowling ball as he tries to come from the ledge. And taking good a, a notice there, he kind of had the trap there. He had the tree to cover the rest of the stage, so he tried to come up with a hitbox, he's gonna hit the tree. Palutena, pretty much a wall of a character, yeah. able to cover anything else, and all he did was wait on that platform and get Well, if he did the read. smash and put side B, he would have covered any kind of retreat to the ledge that Phoenix yeah. would have done. So really, Ant just kind of had the lap down with the forward smash, and he could have dropped down, axed anything he wanted to, really. Pretty tough situation for Phoenix, too, because he kind of had, a, a, in a sense, a wall in front of him. Yep. All right, well, game two, we'll go for it. Oh, no, there's a pro controller. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You guys, you guys, yeah, okay, I was going to say, good, good, good. you can, you can. Uh, if you, yeah, if you turn the console off or put it in sleep mode and then yeah. unsleep, then like, turn it back on. Not it, only that, all that. In, in Ultimate, now you can subtract the controller. As you yeah. saw there, they just went to right. It's actually an easy fix now compared to, you know, Wii U where yeah, we had to so actually hunt down. You had to find the guy. You had to hire a hunter tracker to 
get the guy. And it's SoCal. And then a Sherpa to bring you to him, you know? In SoCal, you know, the joke was it was always Shinta. He's the hunter? He's, no, he's usually the guy with the pro controller. Oh, I got you. All right, here working out on game two. Blue team still with yellow team. Looks like uh, your region was able to take the win against San Diego here. Let's see what San Diego can do to strike back. I do like how they're playing a little bit more this time around. Nero looking to be the front man here, going for more percents, going for more Nairs uh, for it tilts here. And I do like that Phoenix is kind of sticking back, looking to see the uh, opponent's response here. Yeah, I mean, the FD counter pick has definitely seemed to be playing into the yellow team's game plan of just keep center stage a lot better than it has for the blue team so far. And maybe it's just a result of, you know, Palutena and Villager being a combination of Palutena, but either way. Oh! And with the defense, that frame one Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Oh, gonna get hit by Palutena's side B. That is gonna be her explosive flame. And but oh. I do like Miro still with a good percent yeah. here. Over and both players at high percent. Hopefully, Meryl can start looking to see himself as more of a stock tank role right now. Trying to survive getting hit by Palutena in the air. Liking the follows from Ant. He's got another one right here if he wants it, but just barely missing it. This is a. This is looking relatively even, but Yellow Team definitely with a, a pretty keen advantage. Let's see if Blue Team is going to be able to take the stage. That tree is disruptive as heck right now. Yeah. Oh, forward air from Ant, gonna take out Phoenix's second stock. He's just got one more to work with. All right, yeah, so and, I, and I like Phoenix saying, you know what, not my least Cyrus, you come back, that's fine. I'm gonna go over here and save my buddy. Exactly. That's that's a risk reward factor you have to think about. Like, either saving your opponent or going for the edge guard situation, you have to think exactly. about. Nice, Ooh. Phoenix with a great opportunity oh! for the up, and he gets it! Two uppers. You ever see Palutena and Nair, then three characters hold shield? <laughs> yeah. That's new. <laughs> that, that's new. Blue team definitely seems to be fighting back. I mean, they've taken stage control back from these guys. And, well, and then Palutena and Nair, they <laughs> yeah. kind of disappeared. Oh, jab planks. I like it. Just Phoenix just immediately rolls back to the ledge here. Trying yeah. to find Debar Tuna, but he's able to get through that perfect parry here. Phoenix with a possible edge guard. I like the fact he went for the forward smash, trying to capitalize, and is in front of him. I need to work with Mero to work on something, but unfortunately, Phoenix is going to lose the stock there. Comes back with immediate response. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's going to be the Palutena stock. This is an even game. How did this become even? So it comes down to, man, you don't want to sleep on your opponents. SD looking to find out victory here against. The, the yellow team. Okay, so far though, Mero and Ant at high percents. Hopefully, Phoenix can work a little bit more with Mero to have him survive. I like it. Goes to the back door just to get Palutena off the stage. Yeah, Looking Phoenix, for stage control here at this point. Phoenix is playing really, really good defense for Mero right now while he's ledge trapping. Yellow team able to reclaim stage. This is the opportunity they need, you know. They've, they've been playing defense for a while now. I like it. Goes for the grab. I felt like he kind of read the fact that Ant was going to go for the forward smash there. Yeah. Oh, back air. Back throw, that won't take it, but it sets up for the stage control for blue team. This is rough, Ant's gotta hold the fort somehow right now while- oh, Explosive flame, and that's gonna be the Ant. opportunity for blue team to move on as it unfortunately kills Ant. Oh, that's nice smash. smash. Okay. Phoenix, yeah. did you change your name? Circuit, right? Cool. Yeah, he changed his name. Now, Phoenix now changes his tag as Circuit. Circuit. Yeah. Okay, Sonic that's mains. Sonic mains and SoCal are changing their tags. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Miro, I know... Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, you're, you're good, you're good. Phoenix is circuit, just for the rest of you guys. No, I know I won't change the name. So just to give you guys some idea of what other characters we might see in this set if they're not feeling too comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, Miro does have a Greninja. Phoenix, you know, he's got Inkling, he's got Greninja as well, so we exactly. might see some weirdness go on with some character changes. All right, it looks like both teams are deciding what stage bands they're going for. I mean, FD was a pretty good stage for blue team in the end. They kind of lost it out in this, the other stage. Yeah. I kind of want to see them either go to Pokemon Stadium, but I kind of respect that they're going to go back, go to Battlefield here, having platforms to work around with. Let's see if they're going to make different uh, character changes. Mero and Circuit 
still gonna go the try and true here and and um not Miley Cyrus in the stays stick with the guns here. Yeah, I like the battlefield pick for the yellow team because they have so many good sharking tools on the platform. Exactly. Right? You know, blue team sharking tools. I mean, Wolf's up air is pretty good and forward air. Sonic doesn't have too many super safe sharking tools. Whereas the exactly. other team can kind of just hang out on the bottom and keep that stage control, keep them trapped up on the top. And that's also one thing to know is that the battlefield is a little bit smaller too, so Bowser's uh, going to have a field day here with Explosive Flame and she's able to yeah. land on some of those. Exactly. I do want to see Phoenix, aka Circuit here, kind of work a little bit more on Palatina. Look at what's What's stopping the team from progressing and eliminate the threat, right? Have a player in deficit and start setting up what's called stock sweep. Eliminate the weakest link yeah. and then work on the strongest player from there. Right off the bat, I mean, they're, they're just swinging at each other. We've, we've seen a couple exchanges in stage control, but at this point, you know, it's anyone's game. Yellow team kind of setting up a wall, but the blue team just as easily could take it back. Born ball jab, that's the classic. Oh, up air. I like that. Already saw that explosive flame coming out from uh, Miley Cyrus there. Up smash. Circuit in a little bit of a trouble here because he kind of got stuck at that platform with both players threatening him. That Lloyd going to ride it all the way to victory. Circuit losing the first dog of game three. Okay, Circuit looking for the edge guard here. I likes it. Sets up. One balloon. Oh, the oh, pop up. Though. So close, but unfortunately, Ant was going to be able to live, and Mano loses the stock as well. Blue team having yellow team at high percent, but they need to eliminate the stocks to progress forward. Up smash will take it for Circuit. Yeah, I mean, this is a very, very slight early lead. If they can manage to take Ant's stock right here, then, you know, that'll be a lot more even, but Ant. He's got to play. If I'm in, I'm playing super safe. You know, I'm camping. I'm running away. I'm, I'm letting not Miley Cyrus get into it. Palutena definitely a really good, like similar to Cloud in Smash 4. How Cloud was a really good 2v1 character. You can just kind of run in and take up space. Exactly. Palutena very similar. You know, you just kind of run in. You nair between them. What are they going to do? Do anything out of shield? No. <laughs> you kidding yeah. me? You kidding me? You cross that up. They can't do anything. Okay. So far, not Miley Cyrus. They're looking for opportunities. Circuit gonna Nash. finally take that first stock off of Ant, though. And as we see, you know, I, I almost lost attention here, but now they got not Miley Cyrus on high percent, literally on the second stock. And Blue Team could definitely start looking at that. Mero looking to make a play here, but unfortunately going to get back thrown off the stage. Circuit looking to cover up for his teammate here. Yeah, this is definitely a similar issue to uh, what we were seeing from the Blue Team in Game 1. You know, you, you get that early lead and, you know, you want to play safe like Ant was doing, but then suddenly, you know, you start getting into a deficit because your partner is taking so much percent trying to do those two new ones. Exactly. And it goes to show in doubles, the, the player with the weakest link here has to has to be compensated by the strongest player in terms of stocks and, and attention. Yeah, but both members of the blue team, very high percent, you know, very easily this could become a three to two stock game. If I'm, if I'm Miro, I get that grab near the ledge, I'm doing down throw side B going for the suicide, honestly. That stock <laughs> trade would be so perfect right now for them. Yeah, one of the things you have to factor, unfortunately you're going to get hit by the fixed stick from Villager. And finally having a little bit of a breathe, both players at even stocks, with Ant sitting on high percent, with Palatine at mid, uh, pretty much mid to high percent. I want to see Circuit and uh, Mera work on Palatina here. Oh, the tree grow! Okay, oh. he was so cognizant of exactly where Circuit was going to land with that since he missed. And then he was like, all right, I'm going to be right here, water that tree, get that easy stock. And this is, uh, I mean, this is still looking super doable for the blue team. If they take both of these stocks, it's a one to two stock game. And so Ant's got to try really, really hard to hang on to the stock, as does not Miley Cyrus. Now Miley Cyrus looking for the Nair at the edge here, and Mero able to recover here. Gets a grab back throw. Oh, now stage control here. in their hands. At losing the stock. Blue team looking to get something off of Palatina here. That's what they need to work on now that they have around high percent. But I do like the fact that Ant still holds Trident True here, working on Mero a little bit more, trying to get him off the stage as well. Yeah, I'd like to see Ant kind of go over there and help Not Miley Cyrus right now. Not Miley exactly. Cyrus is stuck in the corner, and that is going to be the stock. I do like that Ant was looking at the hand, like, hey, they're attacking my teammate. I need to get Mero off of him, right? right. So Circuit's only fighting Palatina, and I'm only fighting Mero. And this is where Ant loves no to be. No reflector from Wolf, interesting choice for Mero, though. Ant loves to be in these situations where he can just run away and slingshot off the ledge like this. That's, that's his jam, dude. Oh, oh, gets a homing attack. Down no oh, oh, down 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 Almost sealing out the stock. 
circuit, going up for the high recovery. I like it. He knew that Ant was looking for a back air. This is, oh, okay. Good recovery from Miro. You know, that's super, super. That was it. Awful Lloyd, right? <laughs> I, I am not. A <laughs> it was a bad Lloyd, but I'm not going to lie. The fact that Ant stood there meant that his opponents had to respect it because they did not want to lose to that Lloyd right there. They had a high percent, so if that explosion sets one of them off in the wrong direction, could buy Ant some time to work on one of their socks. Good back. Forward throw, no follow up though. No follow up. Here's the thing with that wolf reflector, right? And can put himself in a position where he just kind of is like inspecting it, and then he just gets the pocket. Suddenly, he's got a Lloyd in his pocket that's like supercharged. Yeah. Right. Have one Lloyd is better. Than, two Lloyds is better than one yeah, at that point. Exactly. You can actually do some crazy coverage with double Lloyd. Oh, quick parry. Don't another parry. It's kind of one of those situations we had it, right? I'm so close to possible bringing game three in the 2v1 situation, but blue team knows they're at high percent, so they're giving Ant enough respect where they know, like, hey, yeah. get him off the stage. Let's just try to wait. work on follow-ups and yeah. just wait. If they just wait, they can win this. Yeah. But Ant is very tricky. So. This is a long battle here. This is what it's yeah. going to come down to. You've got two battle. minutes on the clock. You use those two minutes. Exactly. Especially since you're in the lead, you might as well. As long as you've got those two stocks, you're going to win. I like it, Mero trying to set up for the back air as a follow-up there, but wasn't able to find it. Gets a Lloyd back throw. Back, gets the back throw now, facing the 1v1 situation between him and Phoenix. Phoenix has to be careful Ooh. how he comes by the scary situation at the ledge. It's the homing attack. He's, he's looking for an up tilt. Up tilt will kill right now. Yeah, up tilt will kill. Yeah, if he gets if he gets Phoenix off stage at all, he's gonna sit at the ledge and he's gonna look for that up tilt. Air dodge. Oh, back, back air, air attack. Ant. I like it. Good opportunity coming out from Phoenix. Just right. trying to get Ant off of him. Here's the trap. He gets the Nair. Tree. Gets the Fist really here at the ledge. <gasps> Runs it with Spin Dash all the way to the other side Nair. of the ledge. Nair. Gonna take it. Phoenix smelling bakery, but Ant also There's smelling the one. Back back is gonna do it, though. And he takes it. Phoenix able to clutch it out against Ant. But Ant played like a genius, man. He knew the time was on the clock, and all he had to do was play the patient game. Yeah, that was very high caliber 2v1 play right there yeah. by all parties, I would say. Um, a little bit of a slip up from the blue team. You know, they, they were playing a little over aggressive at the ledge and was able to get that back throw. Yeah. Uh, but still, I mean, they clutched it out in the end. That's all that matters. Yeah. Exactly. Scoreboard, baby, scoreboard. <laughs> All right, well, coming up next, we'll see more San Diego action. It is going to be Fallen versus Ido uh, against, I think these players are from your region. I don't know. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know these guys. They're two new players.